Right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to install and set up React Native with Expo. I had made a video um, on this topic a few years back, but the process has changed a little bit. And so I'm going to go over how you do that now and uh, how to resolve uh, some issues you might run into. Okay, so the first thing you need to do <clears throat> is go ahead to this link, which I'll provide in the description. Uh, to download the Node.js installer. So you'll, you'll, when you go to this link, you'll come to a web page and there will be something like this on there in the bottom left. Just click the download. After it downloads, double click on that file and go ahead and uh, just follow the steps for installing Node.js. So then once that is complete, then you're ready to go ahead and go have with the process for installing React Native with Expo. All right, so this is this is a newer thing too. You didn't have to do this. At least I didn't have to do this a few years back when I was working with React Native. Um, you need to make sure um, so wherever your project is going to be, it should not be on like your desktop or your documents. It should be in your username folder. And like um, I'm showing you this visual that hopefully is helpful. So like this is kind of the file structure on a Mac. All this. What I'm talking about is related to Mac OS. Um, and so you're in your users folder, whatever your username is, that's where you want to be in here. Create a folder. I created this folder called React Native, one React Native. So don't be inside documents or desktops. Um, I have found that if you're in one of those, it just it doesn't work. Um, the correct privileges aren't available. All right. And so actually let me go back here so that's step one make sure you create your folder in the right location uh, so it's easy enough to just find your username folder and create it there right and step two is um, you're going to go into the um, system preferences security and privacy it's going to look like this yours might look uh, slightly different depending on the operating system you have but there should be something similar to this where you can find full disk access and you're going to scroll until you find the terminal app and make sure that is checked you might have to click on the little padlock um, to get access you see how this is grayed out so i had to at one point click on that padlock you put in your password for the computer and then it allows you to check that box there to give um, full disk access to your terminal application Okay. All right. So step three then is you're going to go into terminal um, and you're going to run a few commands in terminal. Make sure you are in the folder that we uh, just created. So if whatever you named this folder, I called mine one react native, whatever you named it, that should be where you go in um, terminal. As you see, you can use the CD um, command, which is for change directory and go ahead and uh, navigate into that folder. And so then this should pop up in your terminal, um, the, whether you have like a percent sign there at the end, make sure this is in your path now, the folder. And then you're gonna put in this command, mpx, which is a node command, um, create expo app, and make sure you have those little um, dashes between each of them, space, and then what you give this, whatever you wanna call the project. I just called it my new project, just for an example. Um, you should not have any spaces in there. It just works better if you don't have spaces. All right, and so let that run. It'll create um, some files and folders inside there. Um, it's going to create a folder called My New Project inside that one React Native or whatever you named that folder, okay? Um, then go ahead and navigate. I'll, again, I'll provide this link. Go ahead and navigate to the Create, um, to Expo's website and create an account, okay? Um, you're going to need to do that for a future uh, thing in this tutorial that you're going to have to do. All right, so let's skip ahead. And this this is that future thing. So you're going to want to download the app. Um, uh, I'll have links to each. There's one if you're using an Android, a different one, obviously, if you're using uh, iPhone. And uh, it's the Expo app on the iPhone. I think it's called Expo Go. Um, when you download that, just open it up and log in to the app with that new account that you created in the previous step, okay? 
All right, now we're gonna go back to terminal and you're gonna change directory to the folder of that new project. Like I said, um, when you, in the last step, when you um, did this, whatever this name was, there's gonna be a folder now. So you can just CD into that, just like I did right here. Um, and so now make sure you're in this folder in terminal and you can put in the following command, M npx expo start, okay? I'll, I'll provide all these commands as well in the description. All right, and so if everything goes well, and sometimes it doesn't, and I'm gonna talk, talk about that in a second, um, you should get this pop up and uh, what you'll be able to do is uh, open up your camera app and scan in the QR code um, and go ahead and then you should click on the thing and it should open the Expo app. You might have to click continue. The first time you open the app, it does a little download things. So just It shows you a progress bar, but once, once it is finished downloading and then you um, can go ahead and navigate to the app.js file, open it up and start coding. <clears throat> you'll notice in the Expo um, app that you'll have your application. Very basic to start out with. It's just gonna say, it literally just says open um, app.js to start working on your application. And the cool thing is if you wanna test this out, you can just change this text to whatever you want, hit save, and it automatically will refresh on the Expo app which is kind of cool. Um, all right, so let me go over though. So, um, you know, I, I teach this uh, at a high school level. And um, when we ran the um, MPX Expo Start, a lot of my students ran into the following issue, which I'll, I'll show you how you resolve. It um, got, they got this error here that was basically saying there's too many files open. Um, the watcher, um, application cannot keep track too many files open and so it actually looked like this the error and so if you get that uh, that typically just means you don't have this um, application called watchman installed and so you should install that and to do that you need to first make sure you have home homebrew which you may already have if you have it you can kind of skip and just put this into your terminal um, application that command. Um, if you don't, uh, again, I'll provide this link. It'll open up a web page, which will have a section of the web page. Right, it'll be visible as soon as you open it up. Um, and you're going to copy this link right here. You just hit this little clipboard thing, and it'll copy it. And then you're going to paste that in the terminal, let it run. And actually, will take a, a minute or two. Um, and then, typically, when you're done running it, there's going to be. It's going to say next steps. And it's going to um, have these two lines, which says just copy and paste them in the terminal. So you can literally just do that. copy the first line, put it into your terminal, press enter, then go back and get the second line that starts with eval, copy that whole line, put that in the terminal and press enter. And then you uh, homebrew should be properly configured and you're good to go. And then the last thing you have to do is just put in brew install watchman, um, press enter let that do its thing and then you can go back and type in mpx expo start again making sure we're in that folder the project folder um, that we created right the my new project or whatever it is yeah you know, when you're putting this line in terminal and go ahead and uh, press enter for this command and you should be good it should take you to something that looks like this um, and like i said you can you could uh, go ahead and start and start coding um, so that was a lot. Hopefully that made sense. Let me know if you have any issues. I'm going to be releasing some new videos on how to um, do some cool things with React Native for developing apps for the iPhone and Android store. All right. Thank you.